illegal immigration is a crisis in America. All the illegal immigrants that are committing these murders, rapes, taking our tax money, overcrowding the United States. <laughs> There's a simple solution to this shit. Post soldiers along the border. And you see the you see them coming in America? That's what machine guns are for. Mow them the fuck down. Kill them all and let God sort them out. I bet you they'd get the message quick and we had accomplished two things. Number one, we'd stop. Virtually stop the Ill illegal immigrant problems coming in over into America. And once they knew, hey, there's no need in wasting our time and risking our lives if we're just going to get shot right on the edge of the Mexican-American border. Not only would you stop illegal immigration, you'd stop people from wanting to illegally immigrate into the United States. They stop trying to cross the border into America. Russia did, uh, East Germany and West Germany. East Germany successfully stopped 99.9% .9 of people from leaving East Germany with the Berlin Wall. Build a, build a fucking wall like Trump. Build Trump's wall. It's either us or them. I know it's rotten to have to kill them, but hey. It's better that we kill them and there's peace and safety in America. Than that we let those motherfuckers in. And anarchy and crime and the, such as the killing of that precious girl. What was her name? By an illegal immigrant who had been chilled twice. Here's another thing. In the 1920s, they have had a wave of interstate kidnappers. There's a death penalty passed for certain cases of interstate kidnappings. Passed the death penalty for illegal immigrants if they cross over the border and got a violent criminal record, such as murder, rape. Yeah. Put that, sit their asses down in the electric chair. They sit their asses down in the electric chair. We're taking them out to face the firing squad. Since they're not American citizens, give them a military tribunal and execute, and if they're found guilty, execute the fuck out of them the next day. And donate their bodies to science. That way they can donate something to the American life. Instead of just taking from us. So Aaron Ra. I'd make a good president, wouldn't I? Wouldn't I? <laughs> if only I was a good-looking guy. If only I was a good-looking guy. If only I had my hair full of hair. Chris, what about the children in the arms of illegal immigrants? Well, if you had a, if you had, if we had a country of, of Americans. And people with a deadly disease were coming, trying to get across our border that we did not have. A deadly, most terrible disease. You got two choices. Either kill, kill them and risk killing the children or let them pass just to keep from having to kill the children and that a pandemic sweep across the United States with millions and people, Americans dying, that would not have had to die had we went ahead and, if necessary, killed these diseased people for crossing into our border. Now, this this is what I believe. If an illegal couple comes into the United States and they, they have uh, their bastard child born on American soil, the Constitution is clear. That person is an American citizen. They should be seized. See, uh, they should. The, the family should be seized, and uh, <clears throat> child 
become uh, uh, be uh, a lot of fingerprinted, uh, what you call it, DNA, so that when they grow up, they'll be in a database so they can come into America as an American citizen. They should, the child should be seized and, and uh, allowed to live in America, but you don't want to tear down the family. Give the child access, you know, give the family access to a telephone number to call the child as the child is growing up in America. Yeah, now let me take that back. Let the uh, parents of the child have two choices. Okay, well, uh, DNA and fingerprint the child. And you take the child back with you. And when he's grown up, he can come back into America. And in case he's an American citizen. Or you ask us keep him. Well, you have constant communication with the child and those care cared for him. When you are in Mexico, that's what that's that's what you gotta do. God damn fuck, God.